Imagine walking into a courtroom and being happy to be there. That is how graduates and participants of the sobriety court program felt today. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. In Mason, six people graduated today from the sobriety court program. News 10's Deanna Giles spoke with participants about how the program changed their lives. She's in the newsroom now with their story. Deanna? Ann and David, today was truly a celebration for the graduates of the Ingham County Sobriety Court. It's a program for those charged with a misdemeanor crime involving alcohol or drugs. One graduate, Katie, says it takes a village to come out on the other side. I've opened up and allowed myself to be a little bit more vulnerable and, and honest as opposed to the shut off person I was a year and a half ago. Today was more than a graduation, it's another shot at life. Part of sobriety court is you have to be willing to do it. When Katie made the choice to stop drinking and start sobriety court, she wasn't sure if the program would work, but now... I never expected to be able to say, I'm happy on probation. Like, my life was better on probation than it was the year prior. Dolores Pruitt is in the last phase of the program. In the beginning, she says she was scared. I do say different times that you could have offered me a hundred thousand dollars and there's no way you could have fun without drinking and now she is finding ways to enjoy life without alcohol and with the help of others in order to be a user of substances you usually use it in isolation which is the opposite of community since the start of the program there's been 795 successful graduates inside this courtroom it was filled with love and community. Judge Donald Allen Jr. tries to connect with each person in the program and says the program is more than probation. It's really about rehabilitation and having people understand that this is how to live your life. I had this opportunity to do something different that, um, that would really make me better as a person and better for the community. Katie plans to continue working with MidMichigan Recovery Services and helping those who are struggling with an addiction. She hopes to one day attend law school. In the newsroom, Deanna Giles, News 10. All right, Deanna, thank you. The sobriety court does not accept those who are considered violent offenders. In the end, the goal is for people to realize their drug and alcohol use made their lives difficult and unmanageable.